are three quotes you can use in response to any Romeo and Juliet question, according to first rate tutors. If you're studying Romeo and Juliet, let me show you the three quotes that you can use for any character or theme question. Number one, a pair of star lovers take their life. This quote, which is taken from the prologue and written in iambic pentameter, is powerful firstly in conveying the theme of conflict, which is a central driving theme within the play, but also contextually it ties into Elizabethan beliefs in fate and superstition. Our lives are predetermined and of course it foreshadows the eventual deaths of Romeo and Juliet through suicide by the end of the play. Number two, beautiful tyrant. Fiend Angelical. Juliet says this and she uses lots of oxymorons to illustrate her conflicting love and her conflicting emotions towards Romeo. Now this quote is powerful as it ties in to love, which is another important theme within the play. It illustrates obviously Juliet's love and affection for Romeo, but also her internal conflicting feelings, of course, because at this stage he has killed her cousin. Now contextually remember that Juliet actually was unlike many Elizabethan women. She gave in to her emotions. She also openly expressed her emotions while Elizabethan women were expressed, expected to be conservative and very coy. And number three, my name, dear saint, is hateful to myself. Romeo says this to Juliet when he's basically illustrating this conflicting feeling of duty that he feels towards his family, but of course, this love that he has towards Juliet. Remember, the theme of family and duty was another important theme within this play. Both Romeo and Juliet show that the duty that they felt towards their family felt and eventually became a very crushing obligation. And remember that, of course, this ties in contextually to how families determined who the children married. OK, so, of course, Romeo and Juliet both feel that this duty towards the family has become this crushing force. And Romeo is expressing in this quotation, this frustration that he feels. Now, make sure you head over to Lisa's UCC English to find out how to write the perfect Writer's viewpoints and perspectives question. This is for language paper two, question number four.